Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Who wants to learn about Ohio? In a poll in 2016, Ohio was voted as the third worst state in the union, behind Delaware and Florida. I know a good deal about the Buckeye State, but I never really knew it was considered one of the worst. The handful of people I know from Ohio are all good people. Okay, one of them's not. He's actually a real jackhole. He's a salesman and once told me, I don't know why I can't attract better looking women, I make really good money now. Yeah, I don't really talk to him anymore. Speaking of the people of Ohio, Ohio is the birth state of seven presidents. And it's also a battleground state when it comes to US presidential elections. In recent years, Ohio started losing people. According to United Van Lines in their 41st annual National Movers study, Ohio is ranked seventh for states losing people. That kind of ranking scares most people away, but not all. Some people still might consider moving to this Midwestern state. So before you take pen to paper and try and contact an Amish relative to see if they have room in their barn for you, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Ohio. Number 10, election season. Now I've heard this from a few friends. I've never experienced election season in Ohio, but I hear it sucks. The influx of politicians, staff, press, and political junkies makes Ohio unbearable for a while. It's like one big pain in the butt. The traffic, crowds, hotels are all booked up, and you have no place to take the new girl from your sales office to before she's worked there three months and realizes you're a complete tool. And yes, before I get an evil text, I just want to say one thing. Evan, that has nothing to do with the conversation we had about two years ago. It's just some random analogy I came up with. Sorry if it hits really, really close to home. Number nine, life expectancy. Ohio is ranked 11th in states with the lowest life expectancy rate, 77.1 years. I find that one really strange because they also have one of the best healthcare systems in the country. It probably has more to do with the high percentage of smokers at 21% and the fact that over 30% of the residents are considered to be obese. Number eight, weather happens quick. Proper weather patterns don't exist in the Buckeye State. One day it's nice and 70 degrees, a week later you wish global warming would hurry the hell up. A friend told me that growing up outside of Akron was confusing. He said his family owned a house on a lake called Springfield Lake. He said one weekend he was swimming, two weeks later it was frozen over and they were ice skating. He told me winter doesn't do foreplay in Ohio. <laughs> Number seven, cicadas. Cicadas are these large, summertime bugs that make loud humming noise and fly. Sometimes they land on you because they're dumb and think you're a tree. They also sometimes pierce and suck on your skin. Before you comment, there are two types of cicada. The periodic cicada that spends most of their lives as underground like little larva nymphs, they call it, emerging only after 13 to 17 years. And then you have the annual cicada, a species that emerges every single year. Stop typing. You will see them every year and they are nasty. Number six, serial killers and weirdos. What's in the water in Ohio that creates so many freaks? Jeffrey Dahmer, Donald Harvey, Ariel Castro, Pastille Lasky, they're all from Ohio. Charles Manson has ties to Ohio, and even one of those Columbine idiots, he went to elementary school in Ohio. Number five, sharing the road. It's not unusual to have to share the road with local wildlife on rural and back roads anywhere in the world. In Ohio, it's not just the back roads. It happens all the time while driving near a city. You can be on the interstate near Columbus, Cincinnati, Cleveland, wherever, and have to swerve to miss a deer, a coyote, a rabbit, a distraught brown season ticket holder, whatever. And it's always sad when you hit wildlife. It's kind of depressing. As far as a brown season ticket holder, you know, some might see that as putting him out of his misery. Number four. Potholes. Potholes are such a problem in Ohio that the residents are said to have to get their tires rotated and aligned twice as often as the average U.S. resident. Tow truck drivers are in such high demand that this is like the only place on earth a tow truck driver actually gets a signing bonus for taking a new job. Number three, road work. Because of all the potholes and other projects, there is a ton of road construction going on year-round in Ohio. It's next to impossible to get anywhere without running into a construction zone. You'll learn to hate orange cones. Until someone invents a better asphalt, it will always be like this in places like Ohio. With the constant change in weather, it just destroys asphalt and the ground underneath it. It's a nightmare. Number two, football fans. 
Now, this one is for people that hate football and pretty much sports in general. So before you leave a comment about why is football a problem, remember, this video is not made just for you. Other people sometimes watch these videos and may or may not like the same things you like. Stop typing. Moving on. If you don't enjoy football, this isn't the state for you. The residents here are such diehard fans, even when their teams have sucked for over 30 years, they still buy season tickets. This brings us to number one. And number one, the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns suck. Just watch any game and you'll see how bad they are. Now, I'm not saying against a good team. I'm saying watch them against the worst team in the league. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It would have to be the second worst team because the absolute worst team position is currently being held by the Cleveland Browns. This is what really sucks. I've been a Browns fan since 1984. Yes, I'm one of those idiots that keep thinking it's going to get better. It never does. It's like I'm in an abusive relationship with a football team. They disappoint me week after week, and I keep coming back. Another Browns fan and season ticket holder, Mike Paul Jr., sometimes finds himself yelling at the stadium. You are a factory of sadness! They haven't been to the playoffs in 15 years. That's five more than the next team, and more than double the team after that. Now, if you're watching this sometime in, like, 2018, latter part of 2018, it might be inaccurate because I honestly, I think this is their year. I think they're going to do good. They did some great things in the draft and things are looking, oh, I'm doing it again. All right, so that's the top 10 reasons not to move to Ohio. Didn't really put it in any particular order. Just 10 things you should know. Some of them funny, some of them very serious. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Links below, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.